Praise the Lord. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In this week's weekly manna, we explore the topic seeking sinner and seeking savior. The context to this particular portion is from Gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10. We read about a very familiar person to most of us. It is none other than Zacchaeus. So Zacchaeus was a wealthy man. He was a chief tax collector employed by the Romans to ensure that the taxes were collected and given to the Romans. So he made a lot of money. So Zacchaeus was not a poor person. He was very wealthy. Despite him being wealthy, despite him being rich, despite him having everything in life, he still wanted to see Jesus. Deep within himself, there was a question that wasn't answered. What kind of person is Jesus? In today's world, people think gospel is only for the poor. Gospel is for the people who do not um, have anything in life, material blessings in life. Gospel is only for the sick. People who have reached certain you know, levels in life, social status in life think, gospel has got nothing to do with me. Preach to the poor people in the third world countries. That's where the gospel is needed. Let me tell you, brethren, gospel has its impact on everybody. Gospel was for everyone. Jesus did not die only for the poor people. Jesus died for mankind, for both the rich and the poor. Now, when we look into this particular aspect, about Zacchaeus, he was a seeking sinner. He was wanting to find what kind of person Jesus was. His seek was not for quite seasonal, only for certain days he, he seeked or sought after Jesus and he decided to stop after that. No, his seek was really persistent. There was a lot of obstacles, hindering factors around him. There was a crowd that wasn't allowing him to see Jesus. At the same time, we read that he was shot. Despite these challenges being in there, he was not ready to say that because of reasons A and B, I'm not going to go after Jesus. So he went, he took a step. He decided to climb a sycamore tree so that he could get to know who Jesus was. Did we get all the answers regarding who Jesus is? Or have we decided that we don't want to take any extra steps? We don't want to take an extra hardships and effort to identify or know who Jesus is. Let me tell you, brethren, if you are in that kind of state, encourage yourself. Go the extra mile. And let me tell you one thing. You will really know who Jesus is. The second aspect to this is a seeking savior. Now you see that Jesus, when he was passing by, he comes under the sycamore tree where we have got Zacchaeus trying to hide himself so that he could see who Jesus was. Jesus comes right under the tree and calls him by his name. Isn't that amazing? Zacch Zacchaeus would have just want to have a glimpse of Jesus. But here, he has a direct talk with Jesus. Jesus calls him by his name and tells him, See Zacchaeus, I must come to your house today. How exciting is that? Imagine you wanted to see an important personality. You were among the crowd. And that important personality or the celebrity calls out your name and says that I must come and live with you today. How exciting and how surprising it would be for us, isn't it? Similarly, that was the case in the life of Zacchaeus. Let me tell you, if you are a person who really want to know who Jesus is, let me tell you, he will reveal himself to you. Look, in the Bible we read in the book of Acts of the Apostles, the first Christian convert was a lady called Lydia. 
in a place called Tetera. What happened to Lydia? What was Lydia? Lydia was a businesswoman. She was a wealthy person. She was a person who was selling purple linen and robes she was selling. She had her own business. But look, she was the first person who was converted hearing the word of God being spoken by Paul. The next person we read in the same chapter is, you know what? Is a slave girl who was demon possessed, who needed Jesus. Look, it's just the opposite. A very rich person, a wealthy person needing Jesus. That's the opposite. A slave girl needing the touch of Jesus. After that, we read is about a jailer and a family who needed Jesus. People in all social strata, it may be high class people, middle class or low class, whichever level you are, you all need Jesus. Jesus died for whole mankind. So whatever social status you are in, let me tell you, seek the Lord. There is a God-shaped vacuum in everybody. And that can be only and only be filled by Jesus. Seek him and let me tell you, you will find him. May God bless us.